A z-score is a way of standardizing a set of observations in a way that you can um, compare apples to oranges, things that otherwise may not have um, been relatable. And what you do is you take the observation minus the mean observation over the standard deviation, which is, remember, the average amount that the uh, observation differs from the mean. The average amount that each observation differs from the mean. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to say the average test score was a 70%. And I know in uh, Steve's class that might be a little bit high, but let's say the average test score is 70%. Um, and we have grade, a grade of 85 and a grade of 60. So we're going to find out what their respective z-scores are um, based on this average and this standard deviation. So this is saying the average person deviates from that 70% by 10%. All right, so... Let's take the 85 minus the mean, 70, over 10, standard deviation. 15 over 10 is 1.5, so the z-score for an 85% would be 1.5. If we took the 60, we're taking 60 minus 70 over 10. 60 minus 70 is negative 10 over 10, and get negative 1. So a z-score of negative 1. Um, so basically what this is is a way to compare the 60 to the 85 relatively and see like relatively how far are you away from the mean. Um, and obviously if you were right at the mean, a 70 would get a z-score of 0. So this is, this is just telling you um, when compared to the other students, how well did you do on the test? And uh, scores that are above the mean are going to be positive. Scores that are below the mean are going to be negative. Um, and if there happens to be an outlier, it's going to make this standard deviation go up so that it doesn't throw off the mean as much. So that's just a way uh, to compare yourself to your classmates um, or compare anything um, that may otherwise be uncomparable.